let's look at some basic two-way tables. These are frequently used in probability questions, so you have to know how to interpret them um, very closely. So a two-way table looks something like this, and I'll show you when we get to the questions. Uh, we'll go straight into question one and show you how they're going to be using it. So I've got a two-way table over here. Basically, there's a two-way table is because it goes one way and it goes the other way as well. It goes in a vertical way and also a horizontal way. That's why it's a two-way table. And this one here, you can see we've got boys and girls on this part of the graph, um, the table, sorry, and swimmers and non-swimmers. So they're categorized into either swimmers or non-swimmers or boys and girls. So it's a two-way table. I've got two different types of categories. So if you have a look at question eight, asking us how many boys are there in the class? So it tells us that the boys we look at this horizontally like this, don't we? There are 11 swimmers boys and 10 non-swimmer boys. So all together, we add those two. So 11 plus 10 simply gives us 21. So that's pretty much how many boys there are in this class. Now let's look at B. Basically, I'm just trying to fill in my table as we go. Now it's asking us how many girls are there in the class. Now you can see there are 13 swimmer girls and 16 non-swimmer girls. So all together, if I add those two up, it will give us the total number of girls. 13 plus 16 is simply 29. Simple as that. I just filled in the second part of the table. Now part C. How many students who can swim are in the class? Now, whether they're boys or girls, in total, how many swimmers are there? In this case, we have to look vertically under the swimmer column, don't we? The swimmers for boys is 11 and swimmers for girls is 13. Together will give us a total of all the swimmers. 11 plus 13 gives us 24. So there are a total of 24 swimmers in this class. Now, the next question says, how many students who cannot swim are there in the class? So, you can see that the non-swimmers, there are 10 boys and 16 girls. So together they will make us, they will give us the total of non-swimmers. Add them together, it's just 26. It's as simple as this, guys, but make sure you're looking at the right column or right row, depending on the question. Now, the next one says, how many students are in the class? So how many students are in the class? Well, it's asking for the total, isn't it? There are, this is the total column, the total row, sorry. There are 24 swimmers and 26 non-swimmers. So all together, if I add those up, will give us the total, which will be filled into this last box here. But if you look vertically, guys, on, on, on the column of the total, the total column says there are 21 boys, whether they're swimmers or non-swimmers, all of them would add up to 21, and all the girls are 29. So if you add up either the columns or either the rows, oh, sorry, either the row or the column of the total, it will give us 50 either way. So you can see that 24 plus 26 gives us 50, and 21 plus 29 also gives us 50. So either way is fine. They will both give us the same answer. So the total must be 50. Now the next one says, how many students um, are boys or swimmers? So we want boys or swimmers. We want to know how many are boys or swimmers. So it could be a boy, or it could be a swimmer, or it could be both boy and being a swimmer. So, you can see in our two-way table, we've got a total boys of these two. These two, whether they're swimmers or non-swimmers, these are the total of the boys. But we also want anyone who's also a swimmer, because there's boys or a swimmer. So even though they're not a boy, we still include the ones that are swimmers. So out of the girls, these people are swimmers. 13 of them are swimmers. So all of them, all three boxes here are what we add. Okay guys, so 11 plus 10 plus 13 will simply give us a total of 34. That's how you do it guys. So you're gonna be careful whether it says or, or and. Because in the next part guys, if you see this, how many students are boys and swimmers? This is different to the previous question because the previous one was or, but this time is and. So this time we want swimmers that are boys, or boys that are swimmers. So we can't have girls that are swimmers. We have to have um, a boy that is also a swimmer. So out of the boys, the swimmers are just only 11, okay? We can't have non-swimmers because we want a boy who is a swimmer, right? That's what the and implies. So you've got to be very, very specific here. So simply the 11, guys. 11 are boys and swimmers. Make sense, guys? So in probability, or and and is completely different. You've got to make sure you know the difference. All right, guys? All right, the next one. Find the probability that a randomly chosen student is a girl. 
So, you know that girls are the 29. The 29 of them are the girls, isn't it? All I did was add up these two and they were 29, wasn't it? Now, the total is 50. So basically, 29 out of the 50 is the probability of being a girl. That's all you need to do. Now the next one, it says find the probability that a randomly chosen student um, is a non-swimmer. Alright guys, how many non-swimmers are there? Because the vertical columns are the swimming or non-swimming category, we'll look under the non-swimmers. 26 of them are non-swimmers. And we know that 50 is the total, right? So 26 out of 50 is the probability of being a non-swimmer. Now this fraction I think we can actually simplify, so make sure you can simplify the fraction and that will give us the final simplest answer. So 26 and 50, I think they're both divisible by 2, so the 26 becomes 13 and 50 becomes the 25. I just divided top and bottom by 2 so I can simplify the fraction. Alright guys, so make sure you always simplify your fractions. Alright, find the probability that a randomly chosen student is a girl who can swim. So we want a girl who can swim. So out of the girls, how many can swim? Just the 13. He said the 13 are swimmers. They are girls. So we want 13 and we know that total is 50. So 13 out of the 50 are girls who can swim. Alright guys, so you have to make sure you look at the right box in each question. Alright, let's move on. Let's go to question 2. We'll do something similar again. We're looking at another 2A table. Again, like the previous question, we've got boys and girls in this part. And the other category is whether they're heavy or light. Alright guys, so some people are a bit more heavier than others. So, um, we categorize into heavy or light, or boys or girls. That's why it's called a 2A table, isn't it? So, now we have to fill in some of the gaps. The first question asks us, how many heavy boys are there? Now, if you have a look, guys, the total of the boys they give us is 33. Now, out of the 33, 21 are light. So the remaining must be, we look at this one, the remaining must be the heavy boys, isn't it? So looking at these, if the total is 33 and 21 of them are light, we'll have to subtract 21 away from the 33 to get 12, and that would represent the total boys who are heavy. So I feel that 12 will be filled in into this box. Make sense, guys? The next one, how many heavy, um, heavy students are there? Well, you can see that out of the boys, 12 are heavy. Out of the girls, 29 are heavy. So total heavy students must be those added together, isn't it? So 12 plus 29, which is 41, is going to be the total heavy students. So I'll fill that into this box, 41. Okay, next one. It says, how many light students are there? Alright guys, light students. Well, you can see that... Um, in this table, we want to find the number of light students. You can see that um, 21 of the boys are light. Yes? Now, if you have a look at this part, 41 are heavy students and 80 are total students. That's what they give us. So, if I want to find the number of students that are light, because I don't have this, we can't actually add it to 21. So what I'll do is do 80 minus 41 and the remaining 39 would be the light students. So that's what I fill into this box. If I actually had this box here, I could actually add those together and that should also give us 39. But because I don't, I'll have to look in um, a horizontal way. Make sense, guys? Now the next one. How many light girls are there? We have to find how many light girls there are. Now the girls, you can see that 29 of them are heavy. Now because we don't have the total, we can't actually figure out how many this are in a horizontal manner. So what we'll do is we'll look vertically. We know that total light people are 39. Out of the 29, sorry, 39, 21 of them are boys. So the remaining, if you look at this, 39 minus the 21 would give us the remaining of 18. That would reflect the girls, the number of girls who are light. All right, guys, so um, if you can't look horizontally, you'll have to look in a vertical direction. The next one it says, how many girls are there? Well, we've fi pretty much figured everything out except for this box, and that would be the total of all the girls. Now, because we know how many heavy girls there are and how many light girls there are, we'll just add those together, and that gives us 47. So we'll fill this last box with 47. It wasn't too bad, right? So we've filled in all the boxes, guys. Then the next question will basically ask us the probability. It says, find the probability that a randomly chosen student is a girl. Well, how many girls are there all together? We found that the total of all the girls was 47, and the total is 80. So to find the probability, we always put the number of 
the event over the total, prob total um, number of students. So 47 over 80 will be our probability of being a girl. Now the next one, find the probability that a randomly chosen student is a light boy. Now you have to be, this is very specific, we want a boy that is light. So the number of light boys is simply here, 21 of them are light and the total is again 80, so we'll still do 21 over 80. Make sense? Okay, the next one. Find the probability that a randomly student, chosen student is um, a light or a heavy student. Sorry, so is a girl or a heavy student, sorry. We want the number of students who is a girl or heavy. Now this one's very specific because it's using the word or. So remember the difference between or and and, guys? So it could be a girl, whether she's heavy or light, or if she could be, it could be a heavy person. So, if you have a look guys, all three of them fit into this category because you can see that these are the girls. 29 and 18 are girls. Whether they're heavy or light, we want to include them because it says girl or a heavy student. So, these are girls. Now, out of the boys, there are also heavy students. So, we include the 12 as well because those are also categorized in the heavy student part. So, all three of them would be fitting in and that's the total. So we're going to add all three for the numerator. 12 plus 29 plus 18 simply gives us 59. So 59 out of the 80 would give us the probability that there's a girl or a heavy student.